Hey guys, welcome to the next video in the series of Max Scripting. And in this video, we are going to talk about arrays. So, like earlier, we said that we can have a variable which can be a container and can contain uh, from a number to a string, and it can contain various other values. Like for example, I can take a teapot and assign this teapot to another variable called C. And I can also have uh, another variable that, can, variable that can have its position and so on and so forth. So we can have a collection of variables and that is called an array. So an array in my script is defined very simply like I can say collection equals. So we have a hash symbol followed by two empty brackets. And it defines an array. Now this array can basically have numbers, and this array can also have string. So there you go. This array can also hold variables. So I can say a, b, c, and d, right? So you can keep on defining arrays like these, or you can add to an array so let's say if i have a new object which is a torus here and i want to append it to the collection so i'll say append the array and what do i need to append i need to append this torus so if you see it has appended the torus to find the length or the items number of items in the array we just say array name which is collection dot count and we have 11 items similarly if we want to delete an item from the array then we just say delete item the array name and which item do you want to remove if you want to remove the first item then you say one and now if you see previously we had one two three four five now the first item is removed and we have just two, three, four, five. And if we print out the count of the array, it's 10. Now, if we remember our loops and would like to iterate over an array, so it will be very simple. It's for O in collection do print O. And it will print out everything. Now you see how dynamic this list or array is. It has numbers, it has strings, it has any value that Max basically has. Uh, it can also have a collection. Now, I don't want to confuse you all, but we'll go very simple. Let's say array one is an empty array. Then we say array of numbers is an array with uh, numbers. Array of strings is an array of uh, strings. So what we can do is we can say that array one can be a collection of array num and array string. So this is redefining the array that okay i have created the array once again or what you can do is you can make it an empty array again by evaluating the first line and then you can say append array num sorry append array one with array num and you can again say append array num with array string so now you will see that this is a nested array, okay? Which means the first item of the array, um, array, the first item of this array is going to be an array, and the second item of this array is also going to be an array. All right. So just understand that basically an array can contain anything. You know, it can also contain point three values, rotation values, anything that you feel like. Okay, so just like we say that we have uh, these objects, and uh, how do we access objects? Is basically we just write objects, right? 
and if you want to iterate through objects we say for o in do sorry do print o so we have two objects and now if we say this is an array this is an empty array but we can also declare it as objects as array and there we go now your object collection is basically an array of all the objects in the scene now assume we have multiple objects in the scene so let's say if you want to have a collection of teapots so i select all the teapots and i say uh teapot collection is equal to selection as array because we know that selection already is an object set and we can convert it to an array by saying selection as array now for o n teapot collection do print o dot name so we print all the names of the teapot 1 4 3 and 2 similarly if i select all the tourists and i can say and then i just copy this line paste it here and instead of teapot collection we will say print all the objects in the tourist collection so we have all the tourists now at times you might also have you know some helpers in the scene or you might have let's say some lights in the scene and you want to get a collection of all the lights so to get a collection of all the lights you can simply say light collection is equal to lights as array and you can print all these lights sorry now what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep the collection like this and i'm going to delete all the lights i'm going to delete all the lights and now i'm going to print oh so you see the light collection still exists if I just evaluate the light collection in itself, the light collection still exists, but it contains of all deleted nodes. Okay, so you can basically access the node, but it is going to be deleted C node, which means you cannot access the name. It will say attempt to access deleted scene object. So this is a very important thing that we should consider that whenever we create a, uh, an array or a collection, the values in the array are going to be present till the time you do not explicitly empty the array. So this is a brief about arrays and how arrays can contain uh, various uh, data types and uh, how these arrays can be uh, extended, appended, or we can uh, shorten the array length by deleting items. So that is it for this video guys and thank you so much for watching.